Thank you to Ask the Pro and Liquid IV for sponsoring us. More on them after the reaction. Real Rejects got invited back to WonderCon. Come geek out with us in person Sunday, March 31st. All right, let's think. Please. Hmm. Is there an afterlife? <laughs> Do we just decompose and become energy restored for the earth? I guess we got it. <laughs> That's the best I could come up with. Citizens of the Reject Nation, it is time for bodies, bodies, bodies. Let's go. Let's go. So usually when we do a movie, I know absolutely nothing about the movie going in. And with this one... I know nothing about the movie. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Legitimately nothing, except for the fact that people were raving about this movie for a long time. Yeah. Scream Queen stuff, Greg? I, I don't know. I have I don't know anything about it. I think Pete Davidson's in it. Oh, I got to tell you, I have like a hard on for Pete Davidson. I'm one of those. Nice. I know. I just. It's apparently a rarity. It's apparently not... women don't love Pete Davidson. What's, what's <laughs> wrong with us? I don't know. I mean, it's uh, he's got the charm. He's a charming guy. He calls it the butthole eyes and. I agree. It's just something about... Well, okay, I'm glad to know Pete Davidson's in this. I think some other up-and-coming young artists are there as well. If you guys love this movie, if you aren't sure because you haven't seen it yet and you're about to watch it, like the video, subscribe, hit that notification, all the good things. Thank you so much to Prepper for helping us edit down the video. And um, thanks for caring about bodies and bodies. <laughs> Take care of your body, people. Take care. Of your, <laughs> love your body. And if you have a sexy body, which you do because all bodies are sexy, then be a sexy reject. Go over to Patreon, sync up with your own copy, and make sure that you check out all the things that Greg and John do exclusively over there because they got sexiness in them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was cool. It was. It was sexy. Oh, yeah. All right, Bertha. <laughs> <laughs> Bertha? That's what I call that voice. Dude, that's the Grateful Dead. All right, we're going to watch Body Body Bodies. Here we go. This was A24? Awesome. They don't miss, really. Rarely. When? Rarely. Turning you off. <laughs> I hear noises. Oh. Wow, that is saliva. We opened on tongues. Amanda, who are you making out with? Eyes open. Are they recording a video? She's really, this is a really long opening scene. Oh my God, I'm so uncomfortable, Greg. Is this the movie? <laughs> it's this for two hours. <laughs> this is an opening scene, people. Yeah. Don't look. You know who that is? Of course I don't know who that is. This is a girl from Borat, bro. Oh, she's great. Okay, they're really cute, though. I love you. And we love you. You don't have to say it back. I'm sorry. I just... Oh, that uncomfortable moment. Trying for several years with my wife to get her to say it back. One day, that's the goal. What a great cold open. We were in their kiss. I'm connected. I'm rooting for these characters already. So, David, he's your childhood friend. My preschool boyfriend. Oh. Huh? They're all so impressive. You're impressive. Jordan is going to be obsessed with you. Very nice. I can't help it. <gasps> okay, look at the road, babe. Who is that? Oh, the amount of uncertainty in her character. I love it. It's okay to be nervous. That's part of the fun. What are they going to do? Is she meeting her friends? Daddy is it's beautiful. Feels like we're going on a shining-like mission, but they're creating a sense of irony with it. Good way to save some money. Get them somewhere remote. No extras needed. You'd be a good line producer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just think it's smart when you use your budget wisely. You know, they got great actresses. Got to make sure that we use our budget where we need it. I forgot something in the car. Okay. Don't take too long. Aw. Oh, cute. Cuties. <laughs> Young love. You're cool. You're the shit. You're the shit. You got this. Uh-oh, car's gonna die. Car's gonna die. Good call, Greg. They're gonna need to escape. Oh, hottie. My man, Pete. That girl looks familiar, too, actually. 
armpit hair. Respect. Rachel sent it. Okay, Shiva, baby. Sophie. What is she doing here? What is she doing here? Is she not welcome? Hey, did I win? Yes, I told you guys. I got really big lungs. I know. He makes me uncomfortable. Love the podcast. Okay, we, we have a fan of the pod. Love the pod. Love the pod. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't believe that you're here. It's like, what? Hi. Wow, the personalities feel so natural. This is V. V, this is everyone. That's David, my best friend in the whole, whole, whole wide world. That's He's Emma. happy to see you. That's Jordan. Good intros. That makes it natural. I love a fish out of water character coming in. I'm Sophie. Oh. Whoa. You're Sophie. What is the history here? He seems like 40 years older than everybody, right? Yeah. Okay. We have all been here and nobody had any f***ing clue that you were coming. And I texted you in the group chat. Yeah. No, you didn't. You guys know that I am useless with text, right? Oh, so uncomfortable being the significant other in this situation. What, uh, what is it? It's a uh, zucchini, a bread. It's zucchini bread. Aw, so innocent. That blade's gonna come back. That was so sick. I can't believe I didn't video that. Give me my dad's Gurkha sword. That I just found so it on the good. wall. Yeah, go uh. grab shit off my wall. She feels like a walking TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Come on, it's LA. Really impressive. Nice pouring. <laughs> so if you want, I'm sober. Everyone's so close and comfortable, and she's such an outsider. Yay! Sober, Thanks. huh? Congrats. Yay! Yeah. Congrats. That's the most hysterical response. <laughs> Yay! Oh, she's the girl in that uh, Netflix movie with Julia Roberts and Ethan Hawke. Leave the world behind. The daughter of Mahershali. I feel like he's going to be the first to die. He and I die right now. Struck by lightning. <laughs> oh, and they're sober. Hey, face. <laughs> we talk for a second? Sure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll be back. I hope they make out like every 10 minutes. It's beautiful. The house. Sophie's parents have one that's even bigger. Hmm. Nice. Just be careful, okay? She's flirting, right? It's like and Sophie just. Be careful. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, it feels like sexual yeah. tension. It's like that breathy talk when you're trying to be hot. Why is everyone so obsessed with the chat when we could just live in the moment? Yeah, it's because you went to rehab and you're not on drugs. So, like, everything's like, Ooh, why don't we just all be cool, man? <laughs> you have a little problem with Greg? <coughs> the lumberjack. The new pod. I'm not used to the <coughs> inhaling yet. What is he, like, 40? <coughs> Hey. I think Alice found him on Tinder or some shit. I think he was in the army or some shit. Well, that's hot. He's not, he's not like that hot. <laughs> I'm more attractive than that. What are the features that you're bringing to Well, the I just look like I f <laughs> I look like I f I f And that's the vibe I like to put out there. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, he's, he's really uh, handsome. Hey, improvising this set. Yeah. Yeah. It's gotta be improv for sure. What the f are you doing here, so? I missed you. We both know that's a lie. Nobody's ever missed me. I really do want to know what's going on. The movie's yeah, really too. selling me on this mystery of whatever happened in the past. She said he is her best friend in the whole wide world. She was expecting him to talk to her parents. So it's like, all right, what's the tea? And what did she do? So they all are some upper class society group of friends. Am I wrong that this is a horror movie? I don't know. I think yeah. it is a horror movie. <laughs> yeah. But it's 24 horror, so you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Psychological. Bored in the house, and I'm in the house. Bored. Do you remember this? I last I know is like Britney Spears, "Baby One More Time." Roxy, I, I don't know much. Yeah. I relate so much more with the main girl than any of these other guys. Fish out of water, effective tool for sure. And also, be I've been in this situation where I was younger with no money and being around rich people, uh, random rich friends. How long have you guys been together? Oh, uh, six weeks. Six weeks? That's all they've been to get her for. Are you from Moscow? No. Why? Dr. Zhivago is my favorite film. Oh, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I want to just start, like, pouring again so that we can go crazy. Oh, you know what? That has weed in it, right? 
Uh oh. Do you think she's, she's sober too? She's surrendering to it. This guy always needs the next high. Are you being an incel? I'm coked up and I bit her. <laughs> I'm a rude bitch. What are you made up of? I'm eating food up this. Oh, this is so great. I just feel like something terrible is about to happen. As an actor, it's so hard to do like party scenes with five people and make it seem like you're having fun. This is so awesome. Did you go to college here in the States or? Um... Yeah, here. She keeps trying to get to know her. You should watch your girl. Looks like she's having fun with Jordan. I can't get over this music in it too. Let's go. To play bodies, bodies, bodies. Oh. oh. Oh, that's why they call it that. If you draw the piece of paper that has the X on it, you are the murderer. And you have to keep it a secret. I get so stressed out every time we play this. You always end up crying. Okay, <laughs> I can access my emotions easily. Very. <laughs> I'm just saying, this game gets very ugly. It's ugly when she ugly cries. <laughs> Literally, every single time we play, people start fighting. What's the game? So I'm gonna hit the lights in a second. And if you're the murderer, you have to sneak around and kill someone by like touching them on the back. Someone's actually gonna die. Everyone else has to avoid being killed. And then if you are killed, you have to fall down and pretend you are dead. Like this. Cool. Oh, smart. For watching the behavior of everyone who's getting carried away emotionally and physically. Greater suspects. If you do come across a body, you have to yell, bodies, bodies, bodies. And then once that happens, we'll turn all the lights back on and then we'll try to figure out who did it. You think we'll be able to figure out who the killer is? Okay. Uh, yeah. It's interesting seeing Pete Davidson, a guy who's so much about sobriety, playing a guy doing a bunch of drugs right now. Well, now he is. Because yeah. he was an ass. But I think in 2022, he was also. Whoa. That was a hard slap. <laughs> Did you ever do slap shots? No. Okay. No. That is such a hard slap. They did this in 13. Remember that movie? Yeah, I watched it all the time. Oh Come on. What was that? Yeah. You have to put some you gotta, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Uh-oh. Come on. Yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Greg? This is going to be so bad. I'm so uncomfortable right now. Oh, sake like this. No. Oh. See? David. Dude. He's going to hit him back. You are such an asshole. That was messed up. Play the game. That was messed up. He sucker punched him. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> She's got a violent person inside of her. <sighs> this is spooky. Kind of talk to me vibes. This movie's like playing foreplay with the audience. So the rules being one of them already knows that they are the killer because they had an X on their thing and they they have to tap somebody to kill them. Right? Yeah, it's like the game Murder. And the, are the rest, like what is she doing right now? Running? Trying to avoid getting tapped? Hey. What? Whoa, in the POV. That was interesting. Because she doesn't know if she's the killer. Perch! <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is like an entire bottle movie, like a bottle episode. We're one locationing, but there's gonna be eight oh, actors, the whole movie. Breakfast and I'm like, you guys oh. over here. Is he just pretending, or is he you know, actually? Underneath him, it looks like is it shadow or blood. So, do we have any nominations? Emma. Why do you think it was me? Well, she just like agrees with everything that everybody's saying, and that's her strategy in this game, and it works every single time. So I'm calling it now. Is he dead? Yeah. He's dead. He's dead for sure. Guys, why isn't he moving? Greg, baby, get up. Oh, he's so dead. You don't have to keep pretending for this long. 
Oh, but our main girl will get suspected because she's new. Wait. Mm. Was it murder? Was it a heart attack? Did he die from being punched too hard? Could it be a brain aneurysm? Hey, relax. This always worked. Oh, oh, oh. man. Ah, that had me going. That was funny. That was smart. Smart. Oh, movie, you define expectations right now. It's definitely David. Why are you yelling? That would be so obvious if I were the killer, which I'm not. I think you're digging yourself into a little hole here, Dave. Best defense is a good offense. Hey, you shut up. You're not supposed to talk. You're dead. <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean, Greg? Best defense is good offense. Why are you so abrasive towards him? Because he's in his house and he wasn't invited. It, um, it means that the best defense is a good offense. <laughs> Keep repeating it, Greg. It, look, in sports... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. You're such a... Hey, this is a teaching moment. Teaching moment? You are an asshole. You're f***ing with me. I'm just having fun. We're all just having a good time. Right, guys? Oh, he's sensitive. I'm just having fun. I think it's time for me to put myself to bed. Hey. <laughs> Can I go? You kids have fun. Kids have fun? Way to make yourself sound old. All of our attention to the fact that Emma hasn't said a Word. I'm just pointing out the obvious. That's all. Look, she's doing that swallowing thing. She always does that when oh she's God. nervous. <laughs> like, why? No. Swallowing is normal. It's a normal thing to do. It's very unattractive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Is that why you guys never have sex? What? Oh my Whoa, God. Oh my God. Oh my God. No. It's not what are you talking thing? about? We do. I have it a lot. Some... Are, you, oh my God. are you talking about us behind my back? Oh, and he takes so much pride oh in that, too. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. Uh, we, you never really... I, well, I, I don't... You're always gaslighting me. Gaslight. Shut up. Fucking dumb word. Excuse me? Dude. Like, what's next? You're going to call me a narcissist? You are. Foot soldier of, like, the white supremacy? Like, be more original. Lame. Well, I'm just saying. This is what I'm saying. She doesn't have a thought in her fucking head that hasn't been said by anybody else. You are emotionally abusive. I do get part of what he's saying, though. <laughs> okay, but he's being uh, certainly abusive. Right oh, now. <laughs> absolutely. A hundred percent horrible what he's doing as a coked out prick. But it is interesting. I vote David. Yeah, me too. Third. Look at your quivering upper lip like we all didn't see you and had a gabbler. F you. Yeah, me yeah, yeah. Fourth. <laughs> he is a psycho. I know so many people like him. You need to get any friends. I said I know so many people. <laughs> I lied. I lied. She's I really good. I like lied. her. Yes. Cover up. Let's play. Very believable. Oh. <laughs> I gotta say, Pete Davidson is actually really believable. Yeah. Yeah. Give it to me. Oh no. Oh, damn. oh she's succumbing. That was a great shot. The neon is so cool. Does anybody have service? No. No. Oh, wait, mine's not working. Okay, I think the Wi-Fi is also down. What a cool shot. The lighting is sick. I'm gonna go flip the breaker. Is it in the garage or is it in the basement? I'm gonna go get some more flashlights. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. They all just separated. Things I would never do for a hundred. But they don't know a murder is coming. We are over a half hour into this film, and we don't have a murder. You don't know what they're capable of We're yet. only 20 minutes in. Your intro was 10 minutes long. My intro was six minutes. <laughs> Relax. Okay, this is... So, What's uh, the blinking emergency light? I think it's for that purpose. For this? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. Or it's a fake out. I don't know. Okay. He's really died. He's really dying. I knew he must be first to die. Oh, he is slashed up. What are you doing? Calling 911. Oh my god, you service? No, you? No. Wow, this is a full on hurricane. He's not dead yet. His neck is slit. His I know, but his organs not... are out. But they can still move him. Why do you think he's not dead? I mean, I don't know. It's not really about that. I'm saying they can move him. We have to go. Oh. Oh, I love harsh conditions. 
a smart use to have the elements so that way it, it cuts off their signal entirely so you can't use cell phones and such. And not safe to drive either. This is very interesting. You have to push the gas. I don't have to drive, Alex. I can't see. Is the battery dead? Oh, no. What? Oh. This shot is wild. It's great. Dude, wait, where are your cars? We, we only had one car. Max this is all up and he left. So much anxiety. Oh, I love that shot. Everything is just chaos. Max will probably be here any minute, right? Where's Jordan? She went to check the generator. What was he doing with the f was he outside in the store? That is a really good question. You might just think it was a stranger who did it. I found this outside in the mud. Whoa. Don't touch it. <laughs> that is a really cool prop shot. David's dad explained it to us. Nobody can get in without the code. Well, Max has the code. I'm just saying, like, where is he? Couldn't he have come back after last night? Alice, stop. Why would he go kill? Where is Greg? He said he was going to bed, so my guess would be that he's sleeping. Oh my gosh. Don't you think it's a little bit strange that he hasn't, like, woken up yet? What are you trying to say? He's a stranger. Jordan, what are you doing? I'm staying safe. Really? Because it looks like you're grabbing a meat cleaver to go look for my boyfriend. Alice, I'm literally just protecting myself. Alice, how long have you known Greg? Like, long. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks? What? What do you know about him? I know that he's a good person, okay? He's fundamentally a good person. He's, he's a Libra moon. moon. He's a Libra moon. Amazing. Amazing. Greg! I don't think it's Greg, but you have every right to suspect yeah, it's Greg. Of course, yeah, of yeah. course. Like for the movie, it's obviously not, but <laughs> I would suspect him if Absolutely. I was. Absolutely. Yeah, you should definitely try to cancel him out. Wait, where is Emma? It's Ooh. a classic murder mystery yes, story, but yes. told with this, like the, this generation's youth. So great. A lot of people would have a reason to be a suspect. Open it. You open it. What happened to Greg would never do this? He wouldn't. Okay, so open it. Open it. One second. <laughs> I'm going to. Rachel's character is cracking me. That she's so believable. That age and Jen, so good. I'd be curious to know how they built the chemistry with everyone here because everyone plays off. They all feel like they've known each other for a very long time. What the f is this? He wanted to be prepared for the hurricane. He Why do you circle? We have to find him before he does. I mean, a lot of signs are pointing to Greg. I don't know, movie. You got I mean, my brain churning. It could be something like he did it, but why? Why did he want him dead? Like, what was going on? I don't know. It seems too obvious, but and we still don't know the deal with that Max situation. It is so hard to shoot a movie with this kind of lighting to keep your characters consistently silhouetted in the dark like that. I wonder what they actually did. Do you think it was lighter and they darkened it? Oh, my God. Emma. What is that? Stand next to you want one? Yeah, give me one. You have your senses sharp right now. Let's go find Greg. Hmm. What the? Oh my god. Oh, it's one of those like uh, therapy masks. Yeah. yeah. It's just like therapy mask. You see yeah. some depression. You see some depression. Your lines are so good. Oh my god, he has no idea what's happened. What an icky room. <gasps> it got me. What's up? Where have you been? Huh? I mean, he looks really clean. Yeah. I couldn't sleep, so I came down here to do my exercises. Why didn't you answer me? Were you calling for me? <laughs> so Are you guys still playing werewolf? <laughs> <laughs> Can't read the room. <laughs> They're actually all terrible. <laughs> Is that my go bag? Why did you bring a go bag? What's going on? David is dead. His body is outside. Somebody slit his throat. What? With a f sword, you sick. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are with me. I hope someone doesn't make an irrational choice right I now. I know, I know. <laughs> okay. Everyone needs to take a deep breath. Give me my knife back. What the f is going on? I don't know. <laughs> 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 put down the weapon. No. You put it down. No! Oh my god. This is a very unique way to execute a classic yeah. premise. <laughs> no, guys. No, he's 
Don't get triggered, buddy. Uh oh. Oh God, he's dead. <laughs> Borat girl did it. Oh no. Oh, with a kettlebell. You get some great exercise with those. <laughs> no, stop. I mean, at this point. <laughs> Wow, first you're hunting a murderer, now you're going to have to cover up this this murder you for sure and committed. And she's the only one we know didn't kill Pete because she, we found him from her POV. But the fact that she was willing to I make know. her a suspect. I know, for sure. This isn't right. He didn't do it. So how do you know? How do you know that he did? Great question. On paper, logically, he is the most likely to commit an act of violence. On paper? What the f*** are you even talking about? You guys aren't cops. I mean, he's the only one who served in the military, right? So what? He's a vet, like Iraq or no? I thought it was Afghanistan. He was a veterinarian. Oh shit! He was a veterinarian's assistant. Are you serious right now? Then why'd you call him GI Joe? Because have you seen him? Oh damn! She killed him. It was. Oh my god! It's a very real response. Go change your shirt. Go by yourself. We need to leave. We need to get out of here. We don't have a car. Okay, I'm going to walk. Emma, stop. What do Emma, you mean you can't wait. just... Oh. Emma, literally in the middle of nowhere. Where are you going? One well, more body's got to drop so they know. Yeah. They know they didn't get the right one. I mean, it could have been any of us. Up, oh, and she's relapsed. It could have been Max. Just because Max is in love with me doesn't mean he would kill David. This is not about you and Max. I loved him so much. It didn't seem like it. What? Whoa. It seemed like you loved having a boyfriend and you loved feeling comfortable, but no, you did not love him. You were just too scared to do anything about it, so you stayed for three years longer than you should have because you're a coward. Damn. You are so toxic. And honestly, when you fell off the face of the earth, David was relieved. He was relieved he didn't have to deal with you anymore. Oof. I wish they had chopped off your head instead, you spineless piece of shit. Whoa, you are all just covering up your pain right now. I don't think it's much of a cover-up. <laughs> There's a lot more, like, hurt underneath it all that's just, like, dogpiling into <laughs> yeah. other emotions. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess we don't know that B didn't kill Pete Davidson. We see her see him, but we don't know where she's coming from. From, well, we were with her the whole crawl, though. Yeah. I mean, and the way she just reacted to killing that guy. Yeah. Really. I like this disorienting paranoia, like, musical beats they have. The, the instrumental. The music is just perfect. I'm really sorry. I'm so fucked up right now. It's just like things started coming. Whoa. Okay. Isn't that what you wanted? Yeah, Emma, that's what I wanted. That's what I was in the mood for. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want this? Yeah. Thank you. That is the weirdest response. I'm just having a hard time determining a why someone would kill. My, my mind's telling me it's the main girl with the headlight on, but I don't know why she would do it. <laughs> I'm curious about this Max character. Could Pete have killed himself? No, no, no. With the sword? Doubt it, no. Because we're going to have another victim right now. <laughs> Let the bodies hit the floor. Oh. <gasps> yep. Yeah, we knew she was a goner. Damn, head bastion and all. She was the quickest there. She fell, maybe she tripped. No, no, no. She was pushed. I told you it wasn't Greg. Are you happy that she's dead? No, but I told you it wasn't Greg. I did, I did tell you. <laughs> <laughs> her, she is, her timing, she's comedic genius. Who was the killer in the game? It's following the same pattern. David, Greg, Emma. No, it's not following the same pattern. Greg died, and then we executed David. But in real life, David died. Why would it be a man, love? Who was the killer? Alice, you're coked out. You're coked out, okay? We're all coked out. No, I'm not. That is true. 
Are you wearing makeup? <laughs> Whose sweater is this? I found it upstairs. How long have you known her? Stop, Alice. Who are you? What? You just show up here, start smiling at my boyfriend. This is the first time anybody's even looking at her. Yeah. And there was nobody with your name who graduated from Utah State this year. You could have tampered with the generator just like you tampered with Sophie's car. You said you left the lights on. You literally murdered Greg. Literally. <laughs> I don't want you in here. Let's get out of this room. Me, Alice. Alice, get out of this room. I don't want to look at your face anymore. Get out. Alice, you calm down. Dude, defend your girl a little bit. No. <laughs> well, that relationship's doomed. Yikes. Wow, great perspective shots. The cocaine element is so interesting because they're all just so out of their minds high. Drugs, paranoia, but then there's actual murders. Oh no, I don't know. No, the struggle is real. I feel like she's going to get stuck in there or something. Damn, it's the worst trip ever. Scary. Do you think it's one of these four girls that are left? I'd be kind of disappointed if it was Max. Yeah, me too. She also talked to her mom, though. There's a couple other people I'm wondering, like, you know, it never always could be like a twin twi twist. <laughs> like, But why, yeah, why was you. she lying about her background? I don't know. Why did she put on the lipstick? Why did she hold that girl's bra? I really think it's her. Her? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. But I don't know why it would be her. Yeah. But I've she got to, it's yeah, her. I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. She got to the scene quickest upstairs. Although when they found Pete Davidson, she was the first one to say, call the cops. Uh-oh. If the girl with the headlight ends up dead, they're going to really think it's Borat. She found a gun. That's what that was? Yeah. Great use of the weather here. And I love how they shoot it so intimately. Dog door. But also showing us there's more than one way inside this house. Interesting. Good point. Good point. Oh my God, so many weapons. I say murder everyone. Where's Pete Davidson's body? <sighs> it's exactly what I was thinking when she was out there. How the f did you get in here? Jordan has a gun in her pocket. Sophie, get away from her. I don't have a gun. Then empty her pocket. Is there someone else with a gun? <sighs> Oh, she was the killer. You were the killer. In the game, I would- You killed him. Why would I kill David? Why would I kill Emma? They are literally my oldest friends. You just met them. How dare you? When I found David, you were the last person to get there. That's true. <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> and you lied about everything to Sophie. You're a liar. Oh. I did go to Utah State for one semester. But my mom was she, she was having a hard time, and I came home to take care of her. I, I've been applying. What were you doing when I dropped you off at the mall? I go to the food court. I'll keep up appearances, yeah. I do the same thing all the time. I act like I have friends. My mom has borderline. I'm so sorry. That's that's really serious. Mental health is a really serious issue. I mean, <laughs> she's the perfect reflection of like people <laughs> on social media. Oh no, the oh, gun. Yeah. Okay. We didn't even want to invite you. We debated about inviting you, but because it's David's house. And no, you did not respond in the group chat. And then you show up with this psychopath. Don't call her a psychopath. It's so ableist. <laughs> so when the black girl has a coke habit, it's a problem. But when everyone else around her does it, including her best friend who happens to be white and male, huh. it's fine. You are obsessed with playing the victim. I had to ride in the ambulance with you three times thinking you were dead. When things get tough, you run. You ran away to go write your memoir but why did she kill them yeah. why did you ghost us sophie like why because he triggered me uh, that's that's the truth does she know you begged me to stop at your apartment on my way up here and i did and we in your car she's lying she's lying through her teeth she's trying to get in your head don't listen to her okay oh no 
You're emotionally abusive. I had to go to therapy for PTSD. You can ask Alice. She did for a long time. <laughs> you hate Alice. No, I don't. Yeah. But you won't stop making fun of her stupid little podcast. Let her have the podcast. Wow. All truths are just coming out right now. You hate listen to her podcast and you made a swear on our lives not to tell anyone. And is that true? I like your podcast. Oh my God. Nobody likes you. Do you know when you're drunk and you cry to me? Oh, I'm afraid nobody likes me because I'm mean and a bitch and I suck. Weird well, script. you do, okay? This is hysterical. Uh, it's like a sketch. No wonder Sophie OD'd. Who could date a spreadsheet with a superiority complex? It's like, you're such a bitch. Are you serious? Did you just shoot me? You're the murderer. I knew it. I knew it. You're such a bitch. Don't kill her. Don't kill her. Don't Why did you shoot me? Stop. Oh my god. Uh, no, yeah, no, dude, restrain this woman. Oh my god. How'd she get the gun again? <laughs> How'd she get the gun again? <laughs> uh, oh my it. god. Wow. I didn't do it. Someone seriously has to, like, get a hold of the gun. <laughs> Just put it down. Please stop moving. Please, please. Just put it down, okay? I think she has some type of condition where she thinks that the she really believes. Line. Just stay there. Just please stay there. I'm making you. Please. Please. Stay there. <laughs> Smart. Okay. Was it a ploy? It was a way to get the gun. Nope. Oh my god. Get involved in the fight. Oh no. Oh no. Had to. Yeah, but she Damn, how'd they do that shot? Check her text. Check her uh -huh. text. To know that they hooked up. It's like a satire of our culture today. <laughs> Completely. What a weird turn of events. But it, it treats it so serious I'm at the same time. I'm engulfed, though. Like, yeah. Just like, what? Sophie, did you kill Emma? No. Did you? No. You killed Grant. To protect you. Everyone saw that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty obvious. Although, you didn't have to. Nobody had to kill him. Do you love me? <sighs> I just wanted to touch you. You frightened me. Frightened me. <laughs> oh, she's convinced that she's the killer. Because she already did check her texts, maybe. We have to stay together. Me. Oh, maybe because she, Amanda couldn't get her trust fund from her parents and she was checking in with Pete Davidson and he didn't talk to her parents. She needed money. I don't know. How would that lead her to getting the money? Taking Pete? I, I, don't know. I don't know. It makes no damn sense. Where are you? I love you. Is this going to be one of those movies where you don't find out who did it? No, he definitely will, but it seemed know, like it was a Mandla, which is bizarre. Oh, no. What, is she about to find Max's body or something? The darkness is so great. I actually have no idea how much time we have left in this, too. Like, do we, there could be, like, a whole other story, or we could be coming to a close. That's why I'm concerned that we might not actually find out who the killer no, was. No, that would be crazy. Go ahead, get out of here at that. It's A24. No, there's They'd no pull way. some shit like that. No, they wouldn't. I know them, okay? <laughs> yeah. I talk to Steve A24 all the time. It's like, at this point... If you know you didn't do it, you must know the other person did, unless you think it's the girl on the ground with the head device, right? Oh, a hug. I thought no one would believe me. Give me a phone. You should just admit it if you did it. Yeah. And also, if you did do it, why wouldn't you delete your text? I'm stupid. Don't throw it. Ah, damn it. No. 
He's gonna try to put it in the water. Back to the pool. It all goes back to the pool, Greg. But now the, the water's been muddied. Oh, God. That's not my phone. Oh. What? Whose phone is it? Max? That's not my phone. Face ID. I have no idea what's going to happen right now. This is a very weird movie. Okay, I'm bored in a house and I'm in a house, boy. Boy, bored in a house and I'm in a house, boy. Oh my god, you might be right. I think so. And it just escalated. Everything else we can explain, yeah. Oh, Greg was too cool. frozen with nowhere to go, Damn. It was an accident. Damn, you were right. Man, you've been right about a lot. I would be so pissed too. That's a response. What happened? Things just got out of control. I have reception. Strange. Oh man, that was wild. Shout out to Astapro for sponsoring us. So some fun facts about me. I've been seeing an ENT the past couple of months. Got a CT scan done for my allergies and right now I'm trying to find time to get deviated septum surgery. So like many of you, I am someone who's tried pretty much every nasal spray you can think of because I have difficulty breathing through my nose, which leads to day to day and sleeping problems on a consistent basis. So before agreeing to this, I wanted to try them out myself because this is a serious thing I deal with. They provided me with free samples. This is my second bottle. This is without a doubt the best nasal spray I have ever used. That's not some talking point. That's my very own personal testimony. Genuinely for me, it's fantastic and lives up to how it's advertised. It's the fastest 24 hour over the counter solution available. It gets to work in just 30 minutes while other sprays take hours to kick in. It's also the only one out there that's steroid free for 24 hour relief. Astapro has seriously changed the game for me, offering full prescription strength relief from nasal congestion, runny nose, and sneezing. The difference this makes is phenomenal. It's kind of insane how this relief through my breathing and nostrils just kicks in and I'm back in action really fast. So if you're like me, battling with nasal allergies and looking for relief, get fast acting nasal allergy or symptom relief with Astapro. Go to astaproallergy.com for a discount so you can Astapro and go. It's faster with Astapro, bro. I saw that commercial. <laughs> Astapro, it's faster, bro. That's A-S-T-E-P-R-O allergy.com. Remember, use as directed for relief of nasal congestion, runny nose, sneezing, and itchy nose due to allergies. Thank you again, Astapro, sincerely. All right, Reject Nation. So today I want to share something with you that has been a wonderful addition to my health and fitness journey that I discovered during the holidays, and that is Liquid IV's hydration multiplier. I'm down to my very last packet, and I'm freaking out, but it's okay. I got more in the mail. Now, a lot of you have been so kind to notice how I've been working on my physical health. Thank you for all the compliments. And one thing I learned is that proper hydration is absolutely crucial especially post-workout and pre-filming after post-workout. And my wife actually introduced me to this product, which is perfect because we not only care about quality, but a good taste and quality product. Whether it's after a sweaty workout or just after, you know, a good night out, you know what I'm saying? Efficient hydration and replenishing electrolytes is key. You just feel better and it tastes fantastic. I can't emphasize that enough. Another thing that I'm always on the lookout for too is products that have zero sugar or zero sugar added because that's one of my main dietary restrictions throughout the week. And they of course got products that fit that description that also taste good too. So yes, thank you so much. So Liquid IV's hydration multiplier is in summary is they are a non-GMO electrolyte drink that delivers hydration into your bloodstream faster and more efficient than water alone. Because sometimes drinking a whole gallon is not always efficient, but in fact, it can provide the same hydration as drinking two to three bottles of water. Most also big on efficiency. Plus it's packed with 11 essential vitamins and we know vitamins are good for the body. It's vegan, soy free, gluten free, and dairy free. You can customize the water amount to your taste. Again, perfect for post night recovery, traveling, or just having a big night out. You know what I mean? No, I won't. So if you want to boost your support for the channel and boost your hydration game, go to liquidiv.com and use promo code rejects at checkout. That's liquidiv.com promo code rejects. And remember, liquid IV, it's not a real IV, but it sure feels like it. So stay hydrated, stay healthy, and let's keep crushing those health and fitness goals together in the year 2024. I feel like you feel defeated right now. <laughs> Am I gathering that correctly? Yeah. 
in a, in a good way. Like, it, because you, because, tell me what's going through your head. I'm disappointed in myself. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. Because it was like, you were looking for the killer. Well, nothing was lining up for why someone would do it. And nor did it make sense to me why Pete Davidson, got to watch our words here, would unalive himself. And then they show like, oh, it's just some freak accident or something that occurred. And I kind of love it because of that. Like when she says, what was he doing outside? Yeah. And like you called it and I just couldn't see like why he would do it. And I do actually sort of, res- I actually really respect the fact that everything that happened was just because they couldn't keep their shit together and it becomes this commentary on what people are like, like especially like what people uh, respond, how they behave on, uh, on like social media, yes. <laughs> you know, all the buzzwords that you hear and the fronts that they like to put up and what they like to advocate for and how everyone's kind of putting up a, a, a facade you know this veneer, then and pulling back those layers, and and I I I I kind of I kind of loved it in a way I did not anticipate I because hear it you. is so different than I would have expected, and it's a twenty four. I can imagine this is one of those movies that has an all right audience score with a great critic score because this is not a, because it sets it up like a typical murder mystery just but with a modern touch. You think this has better critic score than audience? I would suspect so. I would think flipped. I mean, you've been outdoing me on this movie know, the entire know. time, as I have been wrong <laughs> the entire it's way. I'm so young and hip. Greg. I know you speak the language of these women. I you was know what? Look up that one thing while you know what this is kind of a commentary on, though. I believe, like this is what happens when your relationships are not rooted in trust, when you don't actually have trust sure. at their core. Because so, what here's what's happened: Pete Davidson. That was right on accident. 85 critics, 69. That's honest. wild. And I'll be like, yep, this seems like that but kind of But pretty high for both. Uh, fresh for both, right? Yeah, I mean, one's like a C and the other one's like a B plus. Yeah, 69 is kind of low for the audience. I would have thought it would have been higher yeah. than that, honestly. I would yeah. I would definitely guess that it would have been in the 70s minimum. Well, you see, the- I was saying that because that disappointment I have, I can imagine, that is just in myself, but I can imagine the way how other people have probably take it or like what the, it was just like this big, I feel Whoa. so satisfied right now. It's insane. Yeah. I knew they weren't going to not tell us who did it. What I think is just so brilliant, though, is, okay, so you follow all the threads. Pete Davidson, on accident, unalive, just totally because he is threatened by somebody else's, like, masculinity, I suppose. <laughs> then because of that, they are they question this man who they don't know very well and they believe to be a war vet who is not, but they don't ask, stop and ask questions. They don't trust each other's judgment in their partners. They don't trust him. So then they end up with him being unalived. Then the same situation um, with the girl who then uh, Amanda's character gives too many pills to and she trips down yeah. the stairs. It's just like a series of an unfortunate events. Well, it's funny because Pete Davidson, when he's first going off on his girlfriend he's saying like wait you're gonna call me a gaslighter what because because i think some people will say that it's such a buzzword and often abused word in and of itself it is and then um being called a narcissist another thing like a lot of these words that have sort of reached the forefront in the day and age of mental health becoming an actual definition right and it's funny because they're all kind of do that to each other (laughs) they're all they're all emotionally abusive to each other they're all narcissists for the most part they're all except for our main girl and then they're um, they they all gaslight each other, so they are all victims of the exact thing they avoid admitting to what they are as a as a collective. Completely. And I thought that was kind of a brilliant um, take on, on on these characters because as much as they're like rich, it's not really a commentary on classism. Uh, it's more of a commentary on how we associate um, all these, uh, like, uh, like I, I think Rachel, uh, is it Senate or Sano? I always call it Senate. Is it Senate? I've been saying Senate, but that might not be right. I mean, my introduction to her was body, uh, bot, uh, she have a baby? bottoms, bottoms. Oh. I didn't see the other one. But, um, yeah, I think her character is, like, a wonderful 
encapsulation of, of, of feeling like an authentic personality. Like I've, like you and I have both probably seen that type of individual did so you watch, many times. Uh, the Idol? No, I did not. Okay, she's that too. Yeah, she she's amazing. She's unbelievable, and somehow she doesn't feel like a parody, even though that kind of person feels like a parody. I think on paper, it probably reads like it could be a sketch, but she brings an authenticity to it that makes that reminded me of people in real life that we, I, I, I for sure, I'm like, oh, I've seen this type of personality so many times, you know? I'm so with you. Yeah, the, each character, even though we don't know their names, they were so clear, yeah. just so crystal clear, made perfect sense. Uh, but it also felt like this was, I don't know who this was written by, but it felt like it was written by somebody who was 27 years old, 25 years old. It's plugged in. What? It was like plugged into oh, the way people in. are on social. I thought you said misplugged in. I yeah. was like, was that the person? To be? Just in the sense that like, I don't feel like it was a commentary from uh, a 50 year old man commenting right. on young women today. I feel like this was part of society is the, when your relationships are not rooted in earned behaviors and trust and understanding and you just use these buzzwords and you just have drugs and partying and you just have uh, like money and richness and fun experiences, then you don't have what you need to thrive. Yeah. And in this, it takes it to the extreme, obviously. But, like, the the relationship that makes it the furthest in this is the one that is at, at least rooted in love in a little way, you know, at least lust, like, between the two girls, um, between the, the people that we start seeing them make out, you know, mm-hmm. like, they at least are coming in, they're sober, they're trying, um, and they're the ones who make it out of the end of this. Do you think that Amanda's character was... The check the text thing, like, do you think that she they hooked up? Yeah, a thousand percent. She tossed her phone. That's sad. She's she's been uh, vehemently in denial. The one main uh, girl who I kept suspecting was the killer. She her last words were check her text. She was uh, dead set on it, and she also threw her phone. And if if there was if if she has a gun pointed at her. And, and and her key to earning trust. But why doesn't she just say, "Yeah, I did it"? Because she they probably all are liars. I know they're all narcissistic personalities. Except for the, <laughs> except for the one girl whose mom has borderline. She's not a yeah, liar, but she's the outsider. Yeah, of, she's of the fish all. out of water. It, it was nice to have that one redeeming character. Except she's the only one we see as who murders somebody in cold blood. In the whole movie, one person murders somebody, and it's her. I wouldn't call it cold blood, though. I mean, everyone in that moment thought he was the killer, and they were all fighting with him. They were. Like, it doesn't mean she didn't murder him. She definitely murdered him, but in cold blood. But, but I, th- I, when I usually he I, didn't murder anybody. If I hear what in cold blood means, that sounds like a, just a cold blooded murder when it wasn't an act of defense in it. It wasn't self defense, though. I don't think in the court. I think in her mind. <laughs> It was because she was. He right, looked a lot like of he murderers was attacking. in their mind. I wouldn't call her a murderer, though. I mean, in the whoa, con- whoa, 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 in the, whoa, whoa, in the, whoa, whoa, in the, whoa. Con- in the context of she what did- went down in that scene, she would. They were all um, right in the context. They were like one one guy, one girl tackled him. They all had weapons on him, and he was ready to fight. He even grabbed a knife. He was re- he was fighting with all of them, and so Greg, she just took the blow to take him down. I'm not calling it first degree premeditated, but that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's why I, I felt sure like it was she coming murdered across. him. She a thousand percent murdered him. <laughs> you said I don't know if she's a murderer. <laughs> she hit him over the head, that's and then fair. he gets back up, and she hit him. I know, you know, but you know, labels. <laughs> like there was a way to de-escalate, and that's another thing. Another great message of this movie, and I know it's not supposed to be like, oh, this movie's all about its messages, but there's a lot of messages in, this in movie life. Though. This is so important when you can de-escalate. Do yeah, and none of them could do it. She couldn't. Do, none of them could de-escalate. The only one who could ended up murdered. He went to the, remember when Pete hits him and he's like, gets in his face and he's like, I'm going to go to sleep now. Mm-hmm. 
and he was of a different gen. And he goes in the other room and he red light therapies and he tries to de-escalate and he puts down his weapon and he ends up dead for it. Yeah, all th- well, these these guys are all everyone here. What I loved is like everyone here is so obsessed with their image, even to a degree with our. Um, I keep forgetting their name. Yeah, Amanda. 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 Uh, even with Amanda, there there isn't to me, at least the way I saw it, there was an extent of part of her working on herself and getting sober mm-hmm. was to also receive a sense of gratification of her image of what others thought about her. There was a consistency with almost like a need for validation that everyone had and a need for approval. Yes, Greg. And even at the end when she says, when they're like, why didn't you want to be around us anymore? And she says, because you guys trigger me and it's another buzzword. Yeah. It's like, D- well, yeah, deeper. in the midst of in the midst of that heated he conflict, they're all buzzwording, buzzwording each other. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's <laughs> like, how about one of you guys actually stops and says something real for a single yeah. second, but you yeah. can't be? They say, "Why don't you want to be with us anymore?" And instead of saying, "Because you guys don't support me, you're really horrible friends, and I can't control myself when I'm around," she says, "Because you trigger me." <laughs> it's yeah. like that's the the buzzword nation right now, and that's why early on, like. I wasn't trying to say Pete Davidson's character wasn't a POS because he totally was, but I got what he was saying. Yeah, when he yeah. was like, it, it, he was like, what are you going to call me a narcissist? And it's like, you are a narcissist. You absolutely yeah. are. But also, it is just well, the b- buzzword city. It's wild. This, well, wow. I love this. Yeah. I mean, like attracts like. And I think that the whole, I, I love how they peel it back to show that a lot of the images that people put up. It was a weird, it's such a strange movie because it's the last thing I expected this movie to. I never would have thought this this is the kind of film we were walking into. Can I tell you the w- only moment that I think could have been stronger? Max walking in and saying, "Oh yeah, he was too nonchalant about that." Mm. What he goes? So what happened here? I think they were going for like a comedic touch, but it just registered as not believable. I, it was like yeah. that made me think like. Wait, did you do this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like what? It is an odd moment. Um, like what if he had walked in and just screamed his head off, you know, and then caught anything? Like, just I feel like the, other than that, this movie had a great sense of tone, especially ra- with Rachel's character. She was so spot on with her jokes, but like we said, felt realistic. Like I thought the timing, this was this almost played like a horror comedy. It was so funny at times, but that moment yeah. was just like what. I definitely call it a dark horror. Com- I think it's a dark comedy. Yeah. It's a black comedy. I, I think it's a really, uh, it's, it's like mean spirited, but in all the ways I love. Who is your favorite character? Uh, I would, I would probably, I mean, the one I think most people would hope to identify with. Fish out of water murderer? Yeah. Yeah. The first degree murderer. Uh, the, her, the main girl. They're all, act- everyone was such a great actor though. Um, I don't know if I had a favorite character. I think I have to give it to Rachel Sennett. <laughs> Those she, things that she said that were. She was funny, man. She was funny. She was really, she really was funny. Really funny. But the way the the movie also handles like the paranoia and the horror, I thought was excellent too. Yes. He, the way how the the cascading events of the of like the weather and atmosphere just um like caving in on them. Yes, the, the, the weather time. helps so I, much. And you know what, Greg? It's an us problem. As a society. Weather? No, oh. just society, us. We did this. We did this. We did what they did. We saw what they saw. Yeah. And we jumped to who did it. No, that's why I think it's a clever plan. The audience is, is I think a lot of us, too, in, in a lot of ways, might need to check ourselves on when we are when we are succumbing to being reflective of the other characters too. Yes, you know? Greg. And yes, Greg. Because I think it's really easy for anyone who has a social media account um, to fall into that trap where, where you are suddenly putting out things because you kind of want the recognition for look at me for what I'm doing and not realizing oh, I am kind of going down some narcissistic tendencies or I'm doing something that I, I personally don't agree with. And I, even though I might like put out there that I don't agree with this and I support this, maybe I'm not really actually Maybe I am being the antithesis to that. So I think there's a way to 
I, I think the the main thing we would all want to do is just go, I am just the main fish out of water character. But then go, oh, but you know, sometimes I might have to be be mindful of, mindful is another word, I might have to be mindful of when I am uh, reflecting these other characters. I'd like to think I'm not these these people in real life. But we have moments. But we all have our moments where we can succumb to that. And if you and the point is like to do that in a knowledge of truth and change. And and this is everyone's characters that are breaking down as 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 this situation just keeps unfolding. They're breaking down to the truth. But do they ever truly get in touch with the truth of who they actually are? Right. I don't think they do, you know? Yeah, because at the <laughs> end of the day, right the our fish out of water character still is a liar and a murderer but she was the only one who admitted I, the I'm truth with you yeah. she's the best of them yeah but she still to her girlfriend claimed she went to graduate didn't yeah. claimed she was working wasn't and i'm not saying she didn't uh we don't feel for her i'm not saying i don't empathize or sympathize with some of her decisions but like just because you have a family situation that's horrible, you know, we hear Rachel saying people are like, that's that's very real. Mental health is very real. And it's like, yeah, but you still can't be a liar and a piece of shit. Yeah. Still can't lie and murder. Well, that's why I think the this this idea like with the with the main girl, I wish we knew everyone's dead, with the main girl. Um I know, I don't know any of them. I, I Alice, remember. Emma. I I can't recall a single name. Uh but with our main girl, like her whole point of of her of being from her perspective, starting it in is she just wants to fit in, she just wants to get uh, approval as well. So even though it's a different context as opposed to how everyone else seeks validation, I think that's so smart as a reflective uh, idea to the audience of what happens when you try to fit in, and the consequences of that when you aren't just being your true self. So you talking about you specifically talked about you know uh, trust and truth. I think. That is a big point of the, I think that is a point of the movie. The last thing, I thought we were going to just talk about horror and all these things. And this movie just had so much more to say that, and and I think it does not give you what you expect. And I can imagine that's why the audience score would be, like I immediately thought the audience score would be a lot lower because it's not a simple uh, whodunit movie. But did you find this to be, the reason I thought the audience score was going to be higher and obviously I was wrong is because I found this fun still. And I find that audience can, audiences can be forgiving when something's really fun. Do you think that this was a fun movie? I think it was a. I think it was a fun movie. I do think it gets really serious though. Like Rachel said, it. I do believe elevates it. And sometimes maybe because just the way we were absorbed, we were not finding moments that I imagine maybe that was meant to be a ha ha moment. Like when she puts the gun up when she's dying and she says, check her text. Like there's something kind of funny, funny about that. Yeah. But the whole argument leading into that was not funny. It was a very serious argument as much as there was a almost meta commentary on. Like the, when she's talking about being black and using cocaine and how it's not a problem. When yeah. Like, Davidson does it, but when she does it. I mean, the way they were all turning on each other yeah. and, and pointing the fingers and stuff. I, I really, I, I think that stuff Maybe people started finding that I don't I don't know why people maybe they thought it was preachy or something, but I thought it was very revelatory of wow. the characters. I don't think it was preachy. I don't, no, I don't. I'm not saying I thought it was preachy. No, I know, I know. I'm I know yeah, people. I don't know why people would find it to be on the lower side because it's really not a horror. It doesn't really become like that much of a horror movie at a certain point because it just it takes breaks. Because most of these movies, they would just keep the focus simply on who is the killer, mm -hmm. and then this movie just takes these breaks to have people argue about things that are not about who killed who, <laughs> you know, it becomes about other things in the past that they have not talked about where you're not even thinking about who the killer is at, as, at, for, for certain chunks of the movie. So yeah, it was, it was interesting. The music killer. Phenomenal music. The, uh, the way this was lit. Awesome. Beautiful. Really cool. Beautiful stuff. I want, do you know this director at all? I have no idea. Let's look it up. Let's, let's, look it let's do it. Let's, let's do, go. Let's do it. Oh my god! Let's and I thought Pete Davidson was very believable. I usually, too. I'm, 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 I'm very much. I'm saying this sentence, realizing I don't actually. I've, this might be the only movie I've seen that Pete Davidson's in. I watched I his show. Okay. Oh, uh, what the hell was it called? Something. Oh, the one that had Did like Joe Staten Pesci Island? and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I did. No, I did Island. not. Am I? Oh. And I think Pete Davidson's pretty good. That's my point is I, I guess I've never really mm. given him the chance. And I, I just assumed I would only see Pete Davidson, which is an unfair thing to impose the on the character someone. was very Pete 
Davidson adjacent, I feel like they played to his strengths, I think. But yeah, I think he did a good job. You're looking at the director? Yeah, it looks like. Um, Who's the director? Her name is Helena Rain. And uh, mainly TV. Yeah, mainly TV shows that I've never heard of ever. Mm-hmm. I, I have no idea. I don't know what okay. any of these are. Did did the director also write the script? No, it's a different writer. Didn't really? I didn't notice that. It um, seemed to me like it was the person who directed it would have been the writer. Sarah, someone came up with a story, and the writer is very female driven property. Let's go. Oh, you women. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, this is her first movie. Impressive. For. For a director, we don't know. A writer who this was her first movie. Yeah, that's impressive uh, stuff. Yeah, the whole thing. Uh, I have to say, I was hoping that I was going to love this, and I'm really, really happy that I did. I thought it was great. Yep. I thought it was great and subverted expectations every step of the way. And I think Greg fake out death is the moment they're telling you this movie is not going to be what you think it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. totally. That's yeah. so true. Yeah. The ball tap moment. I was, I was engrossed. Yeah, like I was literally engrossed to the point where like I'm not even saying anything now. I'm just like really watching what's happening. Like I'm so impressed with. I like that you remember one character's name, and it's because he has your name. Of course, someone was named Roxy. Greg, yeah. You remember <laughs> Roxy? What did you? For sure. That's yeah. why I can't remember anybody but Greg either. Uh, okay. Any other thoughts before we body on out? I'm trying to think, you know, because I, I I always the one thing that the consistency in my life. Is that with you can't the, think of the thought right with now? The, with the YouTube videos is when, like, the top comment is the thing that I'm like, oh, I should have talked about that. <laughs> like, with things that are, people are pointing out. I can't really think of anything. Hmm. Great acting. Great writing. I didn't say it at all. I, I think as a, um, for what is obvious, I mean, other than, like, some certain cast members, for a lower budget film, mm-hmm. I thought it was really smart of how they shot it to make it feel bigger with the mansion and use the weather. But I noticed that, oh, you get away with a lot in these real tight shots and to make like the environment feel massively icky and just just, like drench them and and everything in the background moving. But but, like you get a couple of machines and you just make it like feel more massive than it actually is. I thought was really clever, but they got some real, this is a, this is a real talented cast. They're very talented. Everyone felt like they knew each other a long time. The chemistry was unreal. It was really it was good. amazing chemistry. I was very impressed with the chemistry. These are stellar performances. Well, bodies, bodies, bodies. You have our heart and our mind, <laughs> our soul, and our body. Yeah, and that was awesome. Yeah, really, really good. And I hope you guys loved it as much as we did. Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you soon. Later, rejects. Mm-hmm.